Hello, innovators. Today, I'm going to show you a few different ways to animate objects inside Canva. If you can learn to master these methods, you'll be well on your way to making excellent videos of all kinds. So let's get started. So, as you can see, we're in Canva right now. The first thing we want to do is to go to the YouTube video area and click on that. And, as you can see, it shows this size right here, 1920 by 1080. So, we'll click on that. Now the next thing I want is to put something in here to work with. Here's my first page. This is where my information will be to start. So, let's go to Elements and look for something in Graphics. Let's look for a road background. I think I like this one. Okay, let's resize it to fill the whole page. All right, so there's our start. Now we need something to go on the road, so let's pick a car. Actually, we'll just pick the sports car here, and we're going to resize it to fit there we go, we'll put it right there in the center. So we'll eventually want this car to end up right here in the front. So first of all, let's duplicate the whole first page. Then we'll take the second page and we're going to make the car much larger. And for now, we'll put it right about there. Okay? As far as the video page itself goes, I'll make both of them around 10 seconds long. Now, we want this to enlarge until it's the size of this. So, I'm going to show you guys a secret. If you'll click on Transitions, not on Add Page, but on Add Transition, this little one down here at the bottom, click on that, and it'll open up these properties over here at the right. And as you see, as you roll over them, you'll see each of these have a different power associated with them. The one we want right now is called Match and Move. We're going to choose that one. And we're going to make it the whole five second length. So you can go any length you want, but to make it appear smooth and to change over time, we're going to make it the whole five seconds. Okay? Now then, look down here. You see that it has changed the length of our slides a little bit because of this transition, so let's watch it and see what happens. And it's almost like magic. Amazing. So of course we didn't do anything, but with Canva's help, we instantly changed this little tiny car into this full-size one here. With no work on our part, Canva did it all. So let's watch it one more time and you'll see the transition will start right around in here, and it'll end right around here. So, what you could do at this point, go to File, and download it. Download it as a video, both pages. Let's give it just a second to finish. Okay, let's open it up, and let me shrink it down so you can see it all. And here is our video. Excellent. And what you could do, if you wanted, is cut off the beginning, where there's nothing happening, and you could also cut off the end, when it finally gets to that full-size point, and then nothing else happens. Then, delete both the beginning and ending section. Let me show you how to do that. So, basically, you come back here. Let's watch it one more time from start to finish, so we'll see about where it happens. So, click here in the beginning, there's your playhead, and that's where the video will start. So as this moves, you'll see it scrub along the video, and then once it gets to a point where the car actually starts moving, we're going to stop the video just for a second, and I'll show you what to do next. So, let's click here, and then let's back it up just a hair. All you have to do is put your playhead right about here. Right? Click on it. Click Split Page, and then delete the extra. And then on this section, let's play through it here until it stops. We're going to right-click, 
and split page. Then take this part, right click on it again, and delete. Now when we play it, we're just gonna see the animation part. Let's watch it. Okay, and if we wanted to download it again, just take this part, make sure it says MP4 video here, and hit download. Okay, it's finished downloading. It's about seven seconds. So, let's watch it. And there you go. You now have created a moving car. So, that's one method. Let's go on to the next. Okay, let's do another one. Let's get rid of these for now. Okay, we're back to the beginning. So this time, let's search for park background in graphics. I think I like this one. Let's make it fill the whole area. There we go. And now let's search for someone walking. We'll go to graphics. Some are actually moving and some are not. To find only moving options, here's how you do it. Here's the trick. Click on these three little lines up here. Come down to animated, choose that, and then you'll see only animated choices. That's what we want. Since he's already stepping, we'll animate him. All you have to do is come up here at the top. Let's make this a little bit longer. We'll go for about 15 seconds. You can always stretch these up to a point. You can go up to 10 minutes long on one of these pages if you need to, but for now, we're just going to keep it to about 15 seconds. Now click on him, then go to the animate button. Over here, you'll see a B where it says create animation. Click on that B, then click on this guy, and while we're holding the mouse button down, we're just going to drag him to the right. We'll drag him off the page a little bit, and then you can actually see how he is moving. And if you don't like it, you can click it, delete it, and start from scratch. Let's try it again. We're going to move him. See that blue line? That shows that the animation is working. And we're going to pull him just off the page. All right, let's try it one more time, since that one didn't take. Okay, and that's pretty good. You can change the path you just made, you can also make it smooth, and you can change the speed, or make it steady. I'm just going to make it smooth, and click Done. Let's scroll back here, put our playhead back at the beginning, and hit play and see what it looks like. Okay, I don't like that, so let's go back up to custom and delete that path. We're going to make it faster this time. So here we go again. We've already got the B clicked since you see this screen. You know it's ready to go. So we're going to click on the walker, hold the mouse button down, and just move him across the page. Let's change the speed all the way. Now let's click. Let's go steady this time, see if that makes better. And now let's go back. Whoa. Okay, that was really fast. All right, let's slow him down some. Let's go back, change the speed. There we go. Click done. Now let's try it. Yes, that's much better. So you see, you can play with it until you get it to where you're happy with it. If you don't like that speed, you could always go up here to customize and you could make it faster. So we'll take it back. Click done. All right, that's the second way. And now, let's take a second, as I reset the page for the next example. Okay, so for the third way, let's delete this first and then look for a city background. Go to graphics, then pick a city street and make it a lot bigger on the page. There. We can shift it in this direction if we want to. Now, let's shift it back here. Let's add someone walking.
I'll choose this lady. We'll resize her and have her walk his way. Good. Now, the street background is all the way over here. What we're going to do next is pull it this way. So take this background and we'll animate the entire street since she's already walking. So click on the background, click on animate, click on the B, and now grab the street and slowly move it to the left so you get the point. Let's make it smooth. Click Done. Now, let's go back to the beginning and see what we made. Okay, it is moving slowly. Let's click on Custom, change the speed, then click Done. Let's watch again. Now, she is walking on a moving street. And if this street had been much wider, you wouldn't have seen this white space at the far right, but this shows you the basic idea for this method. So, we could stop it right about there. Just past the start, right click, and then split page. Delete this part. Let's see where the walking ends. We'll stop it right about there. Let's split it, then delete that. Now we've got her walking. Nice. So, in this example, we made the background move. Okay. So that's another idea you might want to try. Plus, you can download it as an MP4, and now you have your animation. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe, and share it with your friends too. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.